Time now to cast an eye over Nigel's tough range of opponents as he defends his title in 1994. This is Emerson Fittipaldi. Brazilian born, he now lives in Florida. He's 47 years old, a former IndyCar and twice Formula One world champion. Great personality with that characteristic huge grin. In 1992, he won Surface Paradise for Penske. And he was still in great form in 1993 when he took the Indy 500. He was first two at Mid-Ohio on his way to runner-up in the championship behind Nigel Mansell. Emerson Fittipaldi, popular, likeable, a great character. In a three-car team, Emerson's first Penske teammate this year is Paul Tracy. He's only 25 years old from Toronto in Canada. He won five races in 1993, including Long Beach. But he also made some costly mistakes. Team boss Roger Penny knows he's a prodigious talent waiting to mature. Tracy's best moment of the year? Winning on his home ground at Toronto last July. Paul Tracy, undoubtedly the best of the young brigade. Another bespectacled driver, Bobby Rahal from Dublin, Ohio. He's 41 now. A disappointing start to the 1993 season, but he recovered well. He won at Nazareth in 1992 when he took the IndyCar title for the third time. He sealed the championship at Laguna Seca. With Honda Power for 1994, he and teammate Mike Grof could be contenders again this year. Another Brazilian, Raul Bazel. He's yet to win an IndyCar race, but he's shown consistent ability. Last year at Milwaukee, he won pole position and led for most laps. But in the end, he finished second to Nigel Mansell. Bazell stays with the improving Dick Simon racing team for 1994. The great Mario Andretti, former champion of both Formula One and IndyCar, Nigel's teammate at Newman Haas. He won his 52nd IndyCar victory at Phoenix last year. But he says he intends to retire at the end of the season. IndyCar racing without Mario Andretti? It's difficult to imagine. Alan Sir Jr., another man from a motor racing dynasty. He won the championship in 1990 but he took only one race last season. That was at Vancouver. He's changed colors for 1994. He's now in the three car Penske lineup and says the dream team intends to claim first, second and third at every race along with his new teammates for Napoldi and Tracy. Scott Goodyear, 34 years old, but still labeled promising. He didn't win at all last year, but he was first at Michigan in 1992. This season, he's the lone star in Kenny Bernstein's team. AJ Foyt's protege, Robbie Gordon, who's also 34 now. He'll race with the Derek Walker team this season. 
Gordon came third at Surface Paradise in the opening race last year. He's self-confident and brave despite various crashes. Last season, he went into the wall at Phoenix. And he did the same in practice this close season. He's undoubtedly talented. It's temperament that's under scrutiny now. The only Swede in the field, Stefan Johansson. Formula One experience with McLaren and Ferrari. No wins yet, but he did come third at Vancouver in 1993. Stefan Johansson is now 37, and the breakthrough for him has to come soon. From Ganassi to the Incandela Indy Regency team running Lola Ilmore's Dutchman Ari Leyendijk. A former Indy 500 winner, he also won at Nazareth in 1991. Probably the best racing driver ever produced by Holland. He lives permanently now in Phoenix. Another European, Tio Fabi, born in Italy. He raced in Formula One with Brabham before he decided to make his career in the States. Rookie Jacques Villeneuve, famous name, son of the great Gilles, revered by all Ferrari fans. IndyCars seem to attract famous racing families with Andretti's and Unser's. Mark Smith had a good first season despite a string of mechanical problems. 26 years old, he's got time on his side. Dominic Dobson's a fine all-rounder in American racing, but he made only three IndyCar appearances last year. Willie T. Ribs picked up nine points for the Cosby team last season. And returning to the fold, Michael Andretti, back from Formula One with McLaren, and now running with Chip Ganassi. He won at Laguna Seca in 1991 and took the championship outright. so followed in the footsteps of his illustrious father, Mario. The following year, he won at Laguna Seca again, but he was pipped in the championship this time by Bobby Rahal. The whole Andretti family goes racing, and Michael still takes advice from his vastly experienced dad. So that's how they shape up for 1994. They're all ready for surface paradise. <laughs>